Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and here I have the jujube or Chinese date, also called Chinese jujube or a lot of other names. Quite an exotic fruit for Germany. Here it grows because I'm in the biblical garden of Leutershausen near Heidelberg, together with a lot of other quite unfamiliar things for Germany like pomegranates, pistachios and khakis. Well, the funny thing is, the jujube is one of many fruit which people in temperate Europe, especially in Germany, would consider very exotic and maybe even subtropical. Despite the fact that it grows quite well in the milder parts of Germany, especially since the climate change. If you look at this tree, okay, the lower branches have been picked more or less clean, except for a couple ones, but on the higher branches, there are still hundreds of fruit, even quite big clusters of fruit here in the German climate change climate. Yeah, one of many fruits which could grow in the German climate, but Europeans and especially Germans traditionally were very conservative about fruit species. There's lots of stuff from East Asia or North America which could grow in similar climates to the German climate, but was never introduced here or was grown only by very few collectors. The Jujube now, it's starting to become a little bit more popular, especially since the climate change, but it's still mostly found in botanic gardens or Bible gardens or arboretums or stuff like that. Very strange. I mean, it's a good fruit. Well, we had a lot of rain, so a lot of those fruit burst open and some started to get moldy. Well, what's the taste? Hmm. It's crunchy, almost like an apple, like a soft apple. Mm. It's more sweet and less sour than the average apple and less juicy. Actually, in dry weather, they dry on the tree and you can harvest them much later. Hmm. But not in this quite moist German autumn. Hmm. <laughs> okay, spit out the bad part. Hmm. Hmm. Uh -huh. What is it like, basically? Yeah, not a very juicy fruit. Quite a sweet fruit, but not very sweet. A bit sour, a bit tart. Not bad. Yeah, pity. I would like to try some of the dried up fruit up there. Let's see if there is a dried up fruit here. Ah, here is a whole group of dried up fruits. Yeah. In dry areas like the Mediterranean, the Middle East, or Arizona, where I first eat, ate those things, they usually dry on the tree. Let's see, those look a little bit underdeveloped, but let's see if they are tasty. Hmm. No seeds at all. That's good. And they taste like dry plums or dry apples. Even with some smoky, or some smoky taste. Oh yeah, the small ones are actually quite good. No seed. Mm hmm. 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 Quite a good fruit. This should be so. If you are in some subtropical or Mediterranean or warm temperate climate, actually. People even told me that they grow in my town of Trevna in the Balkan mountains, which definitely has not a very mild climate. So yeah, if you are in subtropical, temperate, semi-desert or Mediterranean climate, and have a garden, buy a jujube tree, plant it, you are not going to regret it, the fruits are quite tasty usually bigger than those. Hmm. 
Hmm. Good for folks. So this was the jujube, Sisyphus jujube or Sisyphus vulgaris in the Bible Garden of Leutershausen. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the nice autumn days of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.